Hey guys, happy Monday. So I'm super excited because I got a new phone and now I could start vlogging again because this one is cooperating with me when it comes to uploading directly to YouTube. But I'm still gonna be using my laptop for like other longer videos that I wanna bring out to you guys about keto. As a matter of fact, right now I'm uploading one right now about the benefits of a ketogenic diet and fasting. So I hope you guys stay tuned for more. Anyway, I'm so excited because now I can start vlogging again. So yeah, I'm all ready for my day and I'll see you guys a little later. Look at Callie. She messes up the skirt in my tree and she sleeps on it. <laughs> My cats always do this every year. Every time we put a Christmas tree up, they make a mess. Well, at least thank God they didn't destroy my tree. They haven't tried. I think they learned their lesson. <laughs> they, they haven't tried playing with the ornaments this year or anything or destroying my tree, which is a miracle. And my dog Sadie either. My, you know, huskies are very mischievous, but my husky hasn't tried anything either, so. What a miracle. <laughs> anyway, she does this, and my other cat, Midnight, the boy, he does that too. They mess up my freaking tree skirt, and they sleep on it. I love the smell of pine, and I love, like, real Christmas trees, but look at the mess it makes. I have to keep, like, vacuuming or sweeping up the, the little leaves that fall. Anyway, what are you doing, huh? What are you doing, you little ratchet hoe? <laughs> That's funny. David calls her a ratchet hoe because I don't know what happened to her fur. Her fur used to be so nice and pretty, and she looks all ratchet. <laughs> are you being a little ratchet hoe, little mama Sita? Look at her. She's all cozy in there. She she just took over the freaking tree skirt. She's like, this is my bed now. <laughs> hey guys so i wanted to share these pictures with you guys that i posted on my 1950s tumblr blog and i love them oh my god they're so christmasy and retro <laughs> they're like most of them are like old ads from the 1950s and i looked for some that were like christmas themed and I just love them. I love the illustration on them. The art is amazing. I've always been amazed by these old pictures. So I thought I'd share with you guys. If you want to check out my 1950s blog, just go to the50s.tumblr.com and you're going to find lots of awesome pictures there. All right, so I thought I'd make it easier for you guys. So there you go. There you have the URL to my 1950s blog. I hope you guys check it out and I hope you like it. Hey guys, so I wanted to recommend these two books to you guys. Oh my God, these books are amazing. Joe Olstein, All Things Are Working For Your Good and Joyce Meyer, Seven Things That Steal Your Joy, Overcoming the Obstacles to Your Happiness. You guys are gonna love this, these two books. You should definitely check them out. Good morning, good morning. A little buttercup, hi buttercup. Hi. Get me booby. Oh, did you just wake up? <laughs> Hi, baby boy. <laughs> Aw, you got that little pillow face. Oh, did you just fart? <laughs> oh my god. Cochino, did you just fart, you little piggy? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Hey guys. Uh so I just finished picking up the rooms a little bit. I'm trying to keep myself busy and preoccupied so I don't think about food because I'm doing so good in my fast. I'm so excited. Yesterday, Sunday, I started fasting again. So my last meal was Saturday night. We went out and I splurged a little. I didn't cheat, but I, you know, we had Denny's and we had five guys and I just went all out and I was like, you know what? I need to do another fast. And this time I'm going to try to go like a longer period 
period of time. So anyway, yeah, I've been keeping myself busy and right now I'm trying to upload my keto and fasting um, video. So it's taking forever on the laptop, but I have no other choice because that's the only way I could record longer videos is from the computer. So yeah, anyway, so you guys should look for that video because it'll be coming soon. Um, so anyway, yeah, I thought I'd start doing more videos about the ketogenic diet and the benefits of fasting because a lot of people have been asking me questions and stuff like that and I want to get as much information together as I can and all the knowledge I've acquired throughout this whole keto journey these past, let me see what, um, 15 months I think it's been. I it, On September 1st, it was exactly one year that I've been doing the keto diet, so very exciting so yeah on December 1st it was 15 months September October November December yep 15 months so exciting you guys I can't believe I've been doing keto for that long without cheating once like not once have I cheated on keto it's amazing that I've been able to like stick to it for so long I can't believe it <laughs> anyway so yeah but yeah you know even though I've never cheated at least not yet <laughs> on my keto diet i do have my dirty keto days where i'll just splurge a little more and basically what dirty keto means is just you're still eating keto foods but you're splurging a little more you're eating maybe a little bit higher fat or a bigger portion than you usually do but it's still keto so yeah <laughs> but yeah when i splurge like that i i do like to do like a big fast afterwards and try to fast for at least two or three days and clean out my system you know and give it that jump start again to keep going and losing weight because I'm still not at my goal weight so I mean I have accomplished a lot but I'm still not where I want to be so I you know I need to keep going but anyway I was talking to David the other day and I was like because when I first started my keto journey <clears throat> Like a cheat day was like the farthest from my mind. I wasn't really thinking about when I would, but as I kept going through the journey, David was like, so when do you plan to have a cheat day? And I was like, maybe my first cheat day will be on Thanksgiving, but actually Thanksgiving passed, I changed my mind and I didn't cheat because I am so motivated and focused that I don't want to cheat yet. You know, I didn't feel ready, but I was thinking maybe for my birthday, my birthday is on January 27th. So maybe, maybe for my birthday, I'll have that cheat day. I've been craving sushi. I haven't had sushi in ages. So we might go to like a Chinese buffet and just, you know, me because David has already had a few cheat days on keto but I'll have my very first cheat day probably on my birthday so I don't know we'll see we'll see what happens so anyway yeah I might do that let's see what happens right because every time I say I'm gonna have a cheat day then I change my mind but um yeah David had his first one when we went to Tennessee in the summer um for his birthday we went to the apple barn and he had one of those fried apple pies with a ball of a scoop of vanilla ice cream oh my god <laughs> and then his second cheat day was on thanksgiving but no i haven't had not one so yeah but i might do it for my birthday i actually wanted to wait till i reached my goal weight and i was in maintenance mode already to have my first ever cheat day so i don't know but yeah, I've been thinking maybe, you know, it's long overdue and I want to push myself to prove to myself that I could have a cheat day and then the next day go right back on it like nothing ever happened because I know I am that strong, but sometimes I second guess myself and I'm like, oh my God, I'm scared to have one, you know, but let's see. This is insane, you guys. Oh my God. I'm trying to upload my keto and fasting video and it says... It has about two hours and 32 minutes remaining. This is insane. <laughs> this computer is so slow. This is my son's laptop. But anyway, it's by 32% and it's been uploading for like the past hour and a half, I think. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, it's better than nothing. I mean, I thought that by starting to use my son's laptop to upload videos would be faster. But yeah, it's not much of a difference. <laughs> But I am able to record longer videos because my iPhone won't let me upload videos. I mean, I could record long videos, but YouTube, the YouTube app won't let me upload videos from my phone longer than 15 minutes. And this video is about 20 something minutes. 
So yeah, but it's important to get the information out. So, you know, when I need to do longer videos like these, I definitely have to do it from the laptop because I have no other choice. But anyway, this is pretty much all I'm going to be doing all day is waiting for this freaking video <laughs> to upload. But anyway, yeah, you guys should definitely stay tuned and look for this video coming up soon because I'm going to be talking a lot about, you know, the benefits of a ketogenic diet and intermittent fasting. And I hope you guys you know, will enjoy it and find it helpful because I know there's a lot of people who've been asking me questions about the keto diet. A lot of people are amazed by my progress and my transformation and a lot of people have been asking questions. So I thought this would be the best way for me to get all that information out instead of dealing one by one with every single question that is thrown at me. Sometimes it does tend to get a little overwhelming for me, especially since I suffer from anxiety and stuff like, oh my God, I get overwhelmed by a lot of questions. So I rather just, you know, share all my knowledge in one video and do it this way better. So that way you guys could better understand and yeah. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you guys a little later. Hey guys, so I got a small little mini haul here. David bought me some stuff yesterday for when I break my fast. Um, I'm doing the ketogenic diet, but for the past few months, I've been doing carnivore style ketogenic, which is basically meat and eggs. That's it. That's all I eat for my one meal a day. So I'm going to go back to that. And basically, we just got a carton of, these eggs are amazing, you guys. These are the best eggs ever. They're Eggland's Best Cage-Free Vegetarian Fed Hens, the large brown ones. I love these. These eggs are so good. And I think these are only 60, yep, 60 calories because they're, all the eggs are different depending on, usually regular eggs are like 70 calories per egg, but these are... I guess it depends on the size. Like if you get jumbo ones, you're going to have like 90 calories per egg. But I always like getting these because they are like the lowest in calories that I could find out there. Uh, these are 60 per egg. And I am counting calories now because I'm in a caloric deficit. So that way I don't hit a plateau. So yeah, I got, I love this. I got buy one, get one free natural hardwood hardwood smoke bacon oh my god you guys i love bacon i had been doing turkey bacon for a while but since i'm only doing one meal a day i'm allowed to do regular bacon now <laughs> so yeah buy one get one free and i love turkey bacon but nothing beats the taste of regular bacon oh my god yummy <laughs> and then i got two of these ground turkeys they're frozen because we bought them yesterday but anyway uh we got two ground turkeys we got, oh my God, I've been craving some steak. I've been watching my friend Veronica's videos lately and she's doing the carnivore diet also. So she's been eating a lot of steak and eggs. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm craving fried eggs with uh, with steak. So this is how I'm gonna break my fast when I do decide to break it. I'm gonna have a piece of steak with some fried eggs, yummy. <laughs> and then David got some chicken drumsticks. So anyway, yeah, I'm looking forward to when I break my fast. I'm going to have a yummy steak and eggs. <laughs> anyway, you guys, that's it for this vlog. I'm going to end it here because I have other stuff to do. And I'll see you guys in my next video. I hope you enjoyed it. All right, guys, bye-bye.